everyone, it is me, TNT, and, and I am here in another Let's Play video. It's been a very long time since we've done one of these on uh, the Mindfighter server, so I'm happy to be back, but let's just get right on into it. So first, a few things. Um, the creeper farm that we have been working on for like the past three, four episodes has been a crazy project. And then we redid it all. I hope you guys remember that. I'm so sorry. It's been such a very, it's been a very, very long time and I got sick. That's why I did not post last week. Uh, but yeah, that farm, we redid it, hoping, hoping that it would be better and it's not. It still sucks. So that is great. Uh, I talked to Beaston about it because I was asking him about, like, why it wouldn't be working because he's, like, in control. I was wondering if there's, like, some settings that was messing with it. Um, and he couldn't find anything. I think it's something that I did somewhere, somehow. I can't believe I would mess up, but it looks like I did. Uh, but Beaston said that he'd be happy to make another one that hopefully will function in an ocean biome. So that way nothing is spawning around it. Uh, with me, so we should be starting that sometime. I'm not gonna do too much because Beeson's gonna get most of, like the gunpowder and whatnot. I'll just be there helping him. Uh, but we are going to uh, me and Rash. We have our rocket shop over here. Thing is, I talked to Rash because you know he had the business starting out with, and we kind of did a collab together to make it ours instead of just his. And he didn't really provide any rockets except for the beginning and he was just buying those from die kick anyway and then selling them in his own shop and yeah so i talked to him and i'm going to be taking over the shop i'm going to get full profit uh he totally was okay with it thank you so much rash if you're watching this i really really appreciate it uh so i put some rockets in here so, AFKing overnight on my creeper farm gave me a stack of 45 gunpowder, which is very little for a whole night. Uh, but I did it a few nights in a row, and I got quite a bit of gunpowder, and I put quite a bit of rockets in here. Let's see. Oh, sold out. We had it to about, like, here, I think, and those already sold out, so we just got the other row, too. Perfect. We'll add that to my collection. I don't know if this is more or less diamonds than I had last time. But one thing I do need to point out is this beacon right here. Now let me start off by saying, Die Kick, you are incredible. If you guys do not know, Die Kick is selling beacons at his shop. Uh, and he gave me a free coupon because I really wanted one. And someone else that joined the server, everyone that joins the server immediately gets a coupon for his shop. And I was kind of over there like sitting in the background like, oh yeah, fine, just give, give him it, not me. Uh, give, give him the coupon, but anyway, um, I was just kind of sitting there, and he's, he was super duper polite, and he gave me a free coupon, man, it looks like a lot of people are getting beacons from him, anyway, so I have a free beacon now, which is absolutely incredible, so we're gonna go set that up really fast, don't know if I already mentioned this or not, but, uh, Netherhub got a whole new makeover, this is my portal, oh, that's the, my, that's the way towards my portal, uh, this is the way to a few other people's portal, portal, but also the end. This is, like, the main way to most people's portal. Uh, many, many are down this way. It's not quite finished yet because this goes on for such a long time, guys. It's, it's crazy. But this one's my favorite because it goes to the Nether and also Zix 200, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and I, I love the look of this. It looks really, really cool. Die kick did what wait I want that skull I want it I want to make a beacon <laughs> uh, but uh, die kick worked super duper hard on all this uh, dude die kick you're absolutely incredible uh, thank you so much for working on this uh, by the way if you guys were wondering Zix is a new person he joined the server recently uh, and quite a few other people did too uh, I'll probably do like a collab with them some point uh, in the future but anyway back to this video by the way I don't know if I said that back there like saying this goes towards the um, nether I meant it went towards the wither spawner my bad so I had basically a shulker box full of iron so I had plenty to just add on to this thing right here uh, and I put haste 2 on it 
and this one I have jump boost and this one I have speed and they're all upgraded to the level 2 because I don't really need regeneration in my opinion. Uh, now I think I am going to take out my silk touch, there it is, take out these glass panes and switch them so that way it goes dark, light, white. I think that will look very, very cool in my opinion. I don't really know actually if it will. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to leave it anyway because why not? So there we go. I, th I think it looks pretty good. Uh, now you guys might be wondering what is going on over here. What is this building? Well, we are making a, or I should say Die Kick is making a gigantic train station. And this is where our train's going to be coming into our base. That made sense. This is where the train stop is basically for my base. Uh, there's a train stop for every base too. Not really done making it and I'm not going to be doing it in this video. I don't believe I might do it though. I, I, I don't really know my plan. So people might already know what this is for, but if you look in here, you'll just see some redstone torches. There's like some random junk in here too. Uh, but what people don't realize if is that if we come over here, as you guys, m most of you guys probably already know, we place this here, it gets broken, and we can, oh, oh, man, I sucked at that. We can fall into here, and this is my secret little place. This is where I'm going to be doing most of my farms. I did lose a lava thing, pillar, but that's all right. But if we look in here, uh, we've been AFKing at that creeper farm over there, and, whoa, my mouse spiraled out of control. Uh, but it also did... Uh, uh, basically AFK'd at the creeper farm and here which is awesome uh, so this one right here is actually a melon uh, plant and that's been producing all of this which is absolutely incredible so some of you guys can probably guess or you guys know uh, there is a very strict no stealing policy on the server and I think kind of naughty on mistake so basically as you guys probably could tell by all my tools basically filled except for my axe because it doesn't have mending. Um, I recently spent some time at the Guardian Farm repairing all my stuff and sometimes you pick up stuff at the Guardian Farm and you have to return it and I forgot to return it. So we're going to be running there really fast and returning everything uh, but really fast special thanks to, uh, d d d I'm, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm so sorry, I'm guessing it's d Dani, Dana, Dana? I, I, I want to say Dana. I think it's like Dainey or something. I could be totally wrong though and making a complete fool of myself, so I'm sorry if I am. Uh, but anyway, uh, they live over here and they're the one that has free access to their guardian farm. And sorry, I stole by accident, by the way. Now, I think I already said it, but um, the reason I wasn't posting was because I was sick. Uh, but just because I was sick with a sore throat so I couldn't record doesn't mean I was on the server. Uh, me and Dani, Dana, D however you pronounce it, spelled like D-A-N-N-E, D-A, oh, come on, I just fell back down. Uh, but anyway, we made a deal that I would make her, him, them, him, him, a very big farm, uh, for, like, a stack of diamonds I think we settled on, and I, I think that's a fair deal, but the only thing is it had to be a very big, powerful farm, uh, but, uh, we were planning, to, I was planning, we, we agreed that I would make one big wheat farm and one big, um, melon farm, but I would be allowed to use it. And if we head up here, I have not started on the melon farm, but this is the gigantic wheat farm. Yes, I do know it's not the prettiest of things that I've ever built. It's mostly made out of dirt, but you can see what it looks like. Basically, this is all wheat, as you guys probably know. And right here, there are a bunch, bunch of pistons, and there's water right behind them. Basically, what happens if is if I flip that lever right there, then these pistons go up, this water starts to flow down. And the thing about water is it will flow for infinity as long as it has the right block, block layout, I guess you can say. So water will travel towards the thing that it can go down the uh, the soonest that makes sense so basically like let's say there's a drop off right here instead of this one block uh then it would travel two and then go down instead of going like all the way that way um but like let's say this continued down for a long time that would be shorter probably so it just travels that way i don't know if that any of that made sense but if it did 
great. If it didn't, I'm so, so sorry. Anyway, but basically, water can travel up to eight blocks. Oh, seven? Seven blocks. It can travel up to eight, but it travels seven blocks, and then it can go down one. And when it goes down, it starts basically a new water source that can continue on for another seven blocks. So if you continue on with these platforms that go down every seven blocks or so, then basically you have an infinite water stream. I don't need infinite, but I do need it to be very, very long. And that's how this farm works. So the water comes all the way down to this very, very last bit over there. And same over here and same on the other side because it also goes on the other side. And it's very, very cool. Um, I, I like the how it works. I can kind of came I came up with it by myself, uh, but I mean it's it's really simple. So I'm sure that there's plenty of designs just like this one. Uh, we're going to be starting on the melon farm maybe today, depending on how much time we have. But already that's 11 minutes of me talking. So let's stop talking and get into the thing we're going to be doing today. And I was going into our shulker box chest and I found this which can only mean one thing, and that is Die Kick has taken out all of the stuff obsidian down there, and he has given it all to me. Die Kick, you are amazing. Thank you so, so much. You're absolutely incredible. I don't even care that I got pranked hard. Thank you so very much. Now, although I am going to be taking all that obsidian, I am going to be throwing away all these maps. I, 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 I'm I sorry, Die Kick. I know that you have a beautiful face and all, but I just, I don't really need them, you know? So hopefully no hard feelings me throwing away your face, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I just did it, so. And I'm also going to throw away all this armor because I do not need it. So anyway, what we are doing today is... <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys. All right, what we're doing is we are going to be doing getting resources for our base Because I if you guys have not already noticed my base is a complete complete mess and Well, I need to get started on a storage system however, I am going to basically be doing my storage system underneath inside my base so, if you guys have not seen my base, it's basically a long chain of rooms getting bigger as it goes downwards from that big hill. It's kind of like in a circular shape and has like a bunch of hallways. Uh, I'm kind of rethinking the design, but also I don't want to. Uh, but there have been like a few little changes here and there. Basically, I think I'm going to change the block palette of like format, like everything, uh, like the block, the block colors i guess you can say a little bit here and there uh and also it's going to be going all the way underneath the ground and at once it hits the ground it's going to be going in like different directions kind of going for like a weird maze sort of thing uh but there's also going to be like entrance entrances like at other places too so you don't have to run through the whole thing to get to the bottom i'm i'm i haven't figured everything out yet but hopefully it will be very cool so basically we're just getting resources such as sand and gravel and quartz so that we can start building the base. Hopefully, hopefully it will be a lot of fun and really cool. And also I do want to build like a very big base sometime soon, like big base. So yeah, we'll, we'll see where, where everything takes us, but it, I, I hope it'll be very big and very fun. So we now have a shulker box full of sand. Oh, LMAO, apparently Lui little Luigi has been on the whole time I've been playing and I just never checked. Oh, that's funny. He, he wasn't even AFK. He's just been sitting here like he's just been running around this whole time. Ah, wow, that that's actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> This is a lovely little house, and I never have seen it, and it's getting dark, so let's hope it has a bed. I wonder who it is. Wait. Oh, Lucy and Megan. This is uh, new people that just joined the server. Is there a bed down here? No, there is not. Is there one up here? Ah, yes, there is. So let's sleep really fast. Uh, so yeah, they joined like a week or two ago. Uh, seemed really cool. 
don't really haven't really played on the server much with them. Apparently, they built a pretty nice house. Cool, cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I want to go see what that is really fast though. So let's hit downwards and right over here. It looks interesting. Huh. I think it might be like turtle like place because there's turtle eggs over there. Don't know what's up with the phantom membrane, but it's cool. Anyway, back to getting resources. So uh, this is the build that is going to probably be our house. Remember, this is going to be going way farther down to, I'm guessing it'll like end up about here or so before it goes underground. And then, then it's going to like split off. It's going to be super cool. Uh, but also I'm going to probably have like water elevators or something coming up from the ground. Like, give me one minute. Something kind of like this coming out of it. It, it looks a little bit bulky, but I think it'll be okay like once in a while. And basically, it's just an easy way to get up and down from all of these levels. And this will, like, happen, like, once every three or four floors. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, so it'll happen, like, on the third floor. And then we'll go down another two. And then the third one will have another until we hit the ground. And then we might have one going upwards. Yeah, to the surface, probably, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, but that's kind of what it's looking like right now. Now, if you look at this, you will see that's mostly made out of quartz with some, oh, I can't, okay, there we go, uh, with some light gray concrete and some white concrete and a lot and a lot of glass. Uh, so I have a whole shulker box of um, sand and a whole shulker box of gravel, and I'm quartz is so hard to get. I think I'm going to spend diamonds on getting it. But that is where we are at right now. Stack of quartz for one diamond, and this is how much we have right now. I at least want to fill up this shulker box. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 diamonds. It's worth it. There we go. Three shulker box filled with surpri uh, supplies to the brim. Uh, this should supply a decent amount to for us to get started uh only thing is we're we're gonna have to take down this whole thing because this is in the way so that's gonna be fun but i think we're gonna be starting on that next episode because it's gonna it's gonna be a big project remember the point is to get started on our sorting system because we really 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 need one uh, and then after that, I, I don't know what we're going to do. Probably the aquarium. And then after the aquarium, probably... What else did I have to do? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, I think it's going to end around here. I don't know if I'm going to finish the whole structure before we get started on our sorting system. Because I, I, I really need one. I keep on saying that, but I really, really do. Uh, but we will we will see. But I believe that's all I have time for. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed it, then please hit that like button and definitely hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more of my videos. It really, really means a lot to me and it helps my channel grow and new people that, uh, uh, that might want to watch my videos come find it. And it will just be really, really awesome. So make sure to do that. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you guys just enjoyed it. So good. Bye.